If you've been looking for a way how to create landscapes in Blender, then you clicked on the white YouTube thumbnail. In this tutorial, we're going to be guiding you how to create high quality landscapes with trees, grass and some other stuff. So without further ado, let's dive in. Now we have already launched the uh, Blender 4.2. What I need to do first things first, I'm going to be edit and preferences and we have one help tool which is the landscape uh, you can just simply look for landscape and uh, we have that one here so I have already installed that now we're going to shift in a mesh and you find the landscape option here so I did mention that uh, this tutorial is for beginners people who want to create landscapes with trees and plants and they, they're looking for a way to do that so as I mentioned I'm gonna be going and extruding that S to make that bigger extrude S to make that bigger and now we do have that uh, landscape so I'm gonna be dropping something else here for example now uh, let's pull that on the side G from uh, right view of course so I'm gonna G and pull it aside Y there we go. So G or let me just S and Z to scale on Z axis. Oops. Now S and Z and increase my height. Let's get the top view here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that bad boy a couple of times. Shift and D to duplicate. Now S and Z. S and Z. And S and Z. Let me just go and make that a little bit high. Yes, okay. okay, by pressing S and Z, we're scaling the object to the axis. Amazing. So uh, that's gonna be enough here in my case. I'm uh, gonna select them all here and G and Z just to drag them down in the axis. Now let's go ahead, select everything, right click and join. And uh, we'll start simply downloading the image as i mentioned we should just go uh on the tools here size and large because i want to have something large uh let me just go for something a little bit higher we could just go to texture.com as well if you want to this one here i'm gonna call that grass tree on my desktop Okay, so let's proceed that and uh, let me just see here. Amazing, select my measure, add a new material, base color, and image texture. So open. Uh, so I'm gonna look for that one here, for example. Uh, let's repeat on mirror, linear uh, cubic. Uh, and we have, uh, let me just keep that simple now, metallic. I'm gonna increase it a little bit here, up and down, and there up here. Just simple thing. Okay, we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and power the systems. As I mentioned, we're gonna go in here, advance and 400,000. Remember that you want to trim that grass as well, so point 0.2 in my case. Let's just put that on point uh, 0 0.5 should be enough it should hold for this lesson purpose now we have pretty shiny glass here because uh, grass because we are just increased the uh, roughness here let me just go ahead and advance we're gonna be expanding the physics and get a point uh, zero two for example point zero one cool now we have that area covered with the grass. I'll trim that 0 0.002. Okay. 0 0.001. Segment 5 and the seed one. Okay, so now uh, let's keep that pretty simple. I want to just go ahead and zero three. Okay, 
Okay, so let's keep that pretty simple for the moment. Okay, so we should be good to go, sure. So let's uh, now import the uh, trees. So we have a couple of options here. We could look for trees, so type trees, realistic. Trees. For example, that one here. I hope that's for free. Let's look for something for free. Download the model. Let me have a, an FBX file, thankfully. So I'll be proceeding that and download that model here. For file import FBX for your trees. Tree. Where is the tree? Where is the freaking tree? Why is the tree? Okay, so now we have messed up the tree, <laughs> lost the trees. Simply, I'm gonna pick up that GTLF uh, format. It freaked me out, this tree here. So we have two trees here. Let's first of all, I'm gonna put that on my GPU. Let's go ahead and do that. Psycho. And let's go on GPU here. And now we have one more thing here we can do. Exposure. Uh, yes, play with exposure well if we want to. Okay, so the problem that we have to change the type of the material here. This material reflects no shadows or more light so it's gonna put that on the original uh, I mean to create your own landscape just uh, the same method that Unreal Engine use the PCG generator uh, as well we're gonna be going through more uh, tutorials in Blender so if you're new to my channel don't forget to support me and uh, that was everything for this simple introduction again take care bye